Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman. I'm the director and founder of Goldman & Associates. Our firm has a primary focus on family law issues here in Michigan. And today we're going to continue our video series designed to educate and inform the public, so please subscribe to our channel. Today we have a question from our viewing audience about a technicality. It can you have a valid marriage if you don't have a marriage license? Well, you know, there are certain things that are required in the state of Michigan uh, to get married here. I mean, if you're a resident of the state of Michigan and you're of age, you can get married, but you got to have a marriage license. Uh, it's one of the things um, that you've got to apply for, you've got to get. A lot of couples will apply for the marriage license before the actual marriage ceremony as such. By that I mean the, the big ceremony with the gown and the flowers and the photography and all of this and usually people do this and it's not a problem and it doesn't come up in, in standard circumstances every now and then we'll see a situation where the parties were married in some ritual ceremony or some religious ceremony and the t's haven't been crossed and the i's haven't been dotted with respect to the documentation necessary to have a valid marriage and maybe they didn't apply for a marriage license or maybe they got it and they never sent it in or some such thing and that could happen even in religious ceremonies you're typically the religious functionary who's conducting it will send in the appropriate documentation i mean they know in the state of mission that they got to do it it's just part of what they do uh, when they conduct the religious ceremonies they they're they mindful of this it is possible though that it wouldn't happen. Now the question is if it doesn't happen and then you hold yourself out as a married couple and you have children and you have assets and you have a marriage and then ultimately things fall apart. The question is can one party say look we were never legally married so therefore I don't owe you any rights with respect to the property. You don't have rights with respect to the children. Not entitled to alimony for example. What would happen? Well. I'll tell you one thing. Yes, it is true that you're supposed to have all the documentation filled out. It's supposed to be there. You got to remember one thing though. Marriage in Michigan and therefore divorce, these are functions of equity. In other words, the court's going to look at things at, with an eye toward being equitable and fair. Is it likely that the court will say, well, if this document were with the clerk's office, then you would be entitled to the custody rights and the support and maybe alimony and part of the property but because nobody can find this piece of paper even though you've held yourself out as a married couple everybody's known you as such for 15 years sorry you're out of luck because Michigan doesn't have common law marriage well it's not likely the court would take that approach I think what would probably happen is an attorney would walk into court he'd show a wedding video of 200 people at a party and the whole wedding ceremony and everything going on and they bring in evidence to show that this is a married couple they filed joint tax returns they've been doing everything and this was just a scrivener's error something that should have been filed that wasn't uh, it's not likely that the court will say well none of you have rights because of that error more likely than not the court will make the finding that there is a marriage it is valid it is missing an administrative piece to it but the court would normally find that a legal rights attach anyway. If you have questions about your particular situation, reach out and we'll be glad to help you out.